What Really Happened to Don Johnson, star in Miami Vice. Don Johnson was born Donnie Wayne Johnson on December 15, 1949, in Flat Creek, Missouri, U.S. His father Wayne Fred Johnson was a farmer, while his mother Nell Johnson was a beautician. When he was six years old, the family moved to Wichita, Kansas. Johnson graduated from Wichita South High School, where he was involved in the high school's theater program. As a senior, he played the lead role of Tony in West Side Story. His biography noted that he had previously appeared in Burnt Cork and Melody and the Hullabaloo. After graduating from high school in 1967, he enrolled at the University of Kansas as a theater major but dropped out after one year. He subsequently relocated to San Francisco, California to attend the American Conservatory Theater. Don Johnson landed his first major role in 1969. He played the lead role of Smitty in Fortune and Men's Eyes, a Los Angeles stage production. His performance caught the attention of film director Leonard J. Horn and Don landed the role of Stanley Sweetheart in The Magic Garden of Stanley Sweetheart, 1970. However, the film was a box office flop. He then continued working in several commercials, television shows, and films. Films and television series like, Zachariah, 1971, The Herod Experiment, 1973, Lollipops, Roses and Talanka, 1974, A Boy and His Dog, 1975, and, Revenge of the Stepford Wives 1980 are some of his notable works during this period. In the 1980s Johnson not only appeared in movie roles, but he also releases two albums of pop music. Heartbeat was released in 1986 and Let It Roll was released in 1989. Especially, his single Heartbeat reached number 5 on the Billboard Hot 100 singles chart. Next, Till I Loved You, a duet with then-girlfriend Barbara Streisand, was a top 40 hit on the Billboard Hot 100. It was released on the Columbia Records studio album Till I Loved You on October 25, 1988. The song was re-released on the Streisand album Duets in 2002. Finally, in 1984, Don got his first real break when he landed a role in a television series titled, Miami Vice. In this series, Don appeared as an undercover police detective named, Sonny Crockett. The role brought him instant stardom. After, Miami Vice, ended in 1989, Don began to star in a number of films, such as, The Hot Spot, 1990, Paradise, 1991, Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man, 1991, Born Yesterday, 1993, Guilty as Essen, 1993, In Pursuit of Honor, 1995, and, Tin Cup, 1996. In 1985, he landed a substantial role in a television miniseries titled, Ben Quick. It was the TV remake of, The Long, Hot Summer. The role added to his popularity. However, he had to wait till 1996 to land a role as substantial as the one he played in, Miami Vice. From 1996 to 2001, Don Johnson starred in a television police drama titled, Nash Bridges. In this series, he played the role of, Nash Bridges, Inspector, Captain of San Francisco Police Department. He was the only member of the cast to appear in all 122 episodes of the series. In 2005, Don played a cynical and alcoholic lawyer in a short-lived courtroom drama called, Just Legal. Although eight episodes were filmed, the series was cancelled after three episodes. However, these episodes had a rerun the following year, after which five unaired episodes were discarded. In 2007, Don took part in a musical called, Guys and Dolls. It was a West End of London production and Don played the role of, Nathan Detroit. In 2008, he starred in a Norwegian comedy film called, Lang Flate Balor 2. In this film, he played the role of Admiral Burnett, an admiral in the U.S. Navy. 
The same year, he was also seen in films like Torno of Viver da Solo and Lang Flate Balor 2. Don Johnson next appeared as the father of the protagonist in a film called When in Rome, 2010. In 2010, he was also seen in Southern Discomfort, a comedy film that showcases how a father's life is disrupted when his grown-up children move back home. In 2010, he appeared as Von Jackson in an action film titled Machete, which was released in September 2010. From October, Don began appearing in a sports comedy television series called Eastbound and Down. In the series, he played the role of Eduardo Sanchez Powers, the long-lost father of protagonist Kenny Powers. In 2011, Don appeared in a comedy film called A Good Old Fashioned Orgy. In this film, he played the role of the father of the main protagonist, Bucky Larson. Born to be a star, which had him playing, Miles Deep, also released in 2011. In 2012, he played the role of, Spencer Big Daddy Bennett, in a black comedy film titled Django Unchained. The film was a huge hit and earned many nominations and awards. In 2014, he appeared as, Sheriff Earl McGraw, in seven episodes of the television series, From Dusk Till Dawn. The same year, he appeared in films, such as, The Other Woman, Alex of Venice, and, Cold in July. In 2015, Don Johnson started appearing in a prime-time soap opera titled, Blood and Oil. In this series, he played, Harlan Hap Briggs, an oil tycoon and family patriarch. Apart from playing the role, he was also the executive producer of the series. It was premiered on September 27, 2015, on ABC. He starred as, Arthur, the love interest of, Vivian, played by Jane Fonda, in Bill Holderman's romantic comedy film, Book Club, in 2018. The following year, he played the role of, Richard Drysdale, in Ryan Johnson's murder mystery film, Knives Out. He also starred in the series, Watchmen. Johnson has been married five times to a total of four women. Three of his marriages were brief the first two were annulled within a matter of days. During the first half of 1972, Johnson met Melanie Griffith. When Griffith was 15, she and Johnson began living together in a rented house in Laurel Canyon. On her 18th birthday, they became engaged, and were married in January 1976, they separated that July and divorced in November. Later, thereafter they reunited and conceived a daughter close to the start of 1989, Dakota Johnson and were married again from that year until 1996. In 1980, Johnson dated Sally Adams, mother of actress Nicolette Sheridan. In January of the following year, he met former Warhol model Patty Darbinville at a Los Angeles restaurant. The pair lived together from 1981 to 1985 but never married. Johnson and Darbinville have a son, Jesse Wayne Johnson. Johnson next had a relationship with Barbara Streisand, lasting into at least September 1988. Just days after breaking up with Streisand, Johnson, then 38, was linked to 18-year-old Uma Thurman. He was also briefly involved with Dead Bang co-star Penelope Ann Miller before reuniting with Griffith. In 1996-1997, Johnson dated Jody Lynn O'Keefe, who played his daughter on Nash Bridges. Johnson was 47 at the time, while O'Keefe was 18. On April 29, 1999, Johnson married San Francisco socialite and Montessori nursery school teacher Kelly Fledger, former longtime girlfriend of Governor Gavin Newsom, at the Pacific Heights mansion of Anne and Gordon Getty. Johnson and Fledger have three children together, a daughter, Atherton Grace, and two sons, Jasper Breckenridge and Deacon. Thank you for listening to the story about the life of Don Johnson.